this thing work? Is this, hello? Where are your friends now, amigo? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff Machievement Hunter. Welcome to AWU. For the week of March 12th, 2012. Hey, if you like our stuff, go to our Facebook page. It's facebook.com like Achievement Hunter. Hey, uh, so we're running low on AH upload, or AH upload. We're running low on AWU intros and uh, AWU numbers. So if you have an AWU intro or an AWU number you would like to submit, go to ahuploads.com and click on the AWU button and you can select either number or upload or whatever, not upload, or you can select intro and uh, make a good one. And I gotta say, the, uh, you know, the cooler the, you know, the place you are at when you do a number, the more likely I'll be able to use it. Couple and so, it also helps if you have like a hot girl in the video too. Okay, hey, there's some video games that uh, people can play this week if they wanted to, because they come out and you can buy them at a store. It's, uh, the cleverly titled Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Naruto Naruto rolls off the tongue, that's what that title does. You know what I like in my video game titles? 1800 syllables. I would counter that the bigger game this week is probably FIFA Street tied with Silent Hill Downpour. Also, Birds of Steel. I'm assuming that's some kind of a, like a, some kind of a a plane game, right? Planes shoot each other or some shit. But how come those games are never as literal as I want them to be? Like, I would want to be, I would want to fight, I want to steal birds that fight each other. Like a I robot falcon, that. yeah, versus an eagle. Yeah, I really want that game. I, so, I hope... I hope somebody would make that. It seems like a Codemasters game. Also, arcade games this week. Uh, Defenders of Ardania. Please defend Ardania. It needs your help. Shoot mini robots. Now that's a that's a ti that's a title that's literal. What's the object of that? I game? get the I get the feeling if I play that game, I'm going to shoot mini robots. Shoot mini robots actually has our achievement of the week, which is punch mini bullets, which is to punch two bullets, killing two robots with one melee swing. From that achievement, I know what the fuck is happening. Once again, that is literal. I'm gonna punch mini bullets. Also, uh, some uh, DLC coming out this week. I forgot about Call of Duty content collection pack is going to come out and uh, there's going to be like two spec ops maps and a multiplayer map and some achievements. So if you like achievements and you like Call of Duty, then maybe you guys should get married and touch butts and have achievement babies. That's it for me. Take it away, Jack. So as far as news goes this week, some uh, interesting stuff came out of GDC. Hey, look. Oh, look, Jeff Ramsey just hit a home run. There we go. Good job, Jeff. Uh, so as far as, uh, yeah, so you want to say something about your home run? He just rubbed the microphone with his face. So yeah, GDC was last week and some interesting stuff came out of there. Hey, so Diablo 3, that game by Blizzard that everyone's really, really excited for, it's not going to have PvP at launch because apparently the PvP stuff is taking a little bit too long, so they're going to launch without PvP and then patch it in later. So I applaud them on getting the game done and, uh, you know, getting it out there and then being able to update it later. That's pretty cool. That couldn't happen years and years ago. That's new technology. Also announced at GDC, EA announced that SimCity 5 is coming, and I can't express how excited I am about SimCity 5 coming. It looks really, really cool. I think they released a trailer or something, but uh, some stills have come out of it, and it looks really neat. I was a huge fan of SimCity back on the Super Nintendo. That's how old school SimCity I am. Oh, and also, uh, just announced before we started AWU, apparently there is a rumor float, I guess it's a rumor, it's not announced, but it's a rumor floating, that Microsoft is going to bump up the amount of gamer score that you can pick up in arcade games, starting like sometime in the next month or two. So it's going to go from 200 gamer score for an arcade game up to 400 gamer score for an arcade game. It makes a lot of sense because, um, you know, we're, we're a little bit beyond the days of, uh, what, like Geometry Wars, and we've moved on to, you know, I don't know, crazy important games like Braid and stuff that have been advancing quite a bit. So we're getting with the times. So anyway, 400 gamer score, and then like you can also do DLC with like another 100 gamer score. So it's like 500 gamer score, whatever else. That's it. Okay, so a couple things I want to talk to you about. Uh, community play dates. Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Uh, we're all playing Assassin's Creed Revelations, so that'll be fun. And then Friday night is our game night. I'm sure you've seen our previous game night videos. It's where the entire Achievement Hunter community gets together and plays wacky game types, and then we make a video out of it. So if you want to be in an Achievement Hunter video, play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 custom game types with us Friday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. That'll be fun. Oh, and I want you to watch two videos. Gavin and I did a Let's Play of MLB 2K12 last week. Gavin and I did a Let's Play of MLB 2K12 last night. Gavin and I did a... What'd you do? We played baseball! <laughs> oh, fuck! My balls are fine. My shin is not... Ugh. Yeah, so over on the Game Fails channel, uh, go over and check out our best Game Fails of February. Every month we compile the five best, the five most liked fails and put them in one video and people seem to like it. And I thought it was a pretty funny video. Also, while you're watching funny videos, watch 
fucking Gavin and I play MLB 2K12 at about 22 minutes in, it's got a big surprise. Also, British people don't know fuck about baseball. Hey, so we are doing a contest with Insert Coin Clothing. They did one with us a little while back. We're doing another one now. So it's for their cool new Soul Calibur 5 t-shirts. All you gotta do is make your best achievement hunter related character. It could be Jeff or I or Gavin even. And uh, take a photo of it and send it to contest at achievementhunter.com and we'll give you two weeks. We'll say uh, we'll say next Friday, whatever day that is. So not this Friday coming up, but the next one. Um, the best one, or the best, let's say three. How about the best three? You're gonna get a Soul Calibur t-shirt from Insert Coin Clothing. Thank you very much for donating that stuff, guys. Appreciate it. All right, that does it for me. I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.